go. Okay, guys. So we just got the pond. As you guys can see, it is huge. I can lay down on this. It is actually ginormous. Like, let's show you guys an inside view of how good this is. Okay, so here's the inside of the pond. Uh, just for demonstration, I am in the pond right now, walking around. It is huge. Like, my sister, like, it is like a swimming pool. Like, let me just show you guys. So you can't even fit the full thing in frame. It is huge. Like, this is my sister next to the pond. Her channel will be linked in the description. I but can even get in. This is the pond. This is crushed 300 gallon. You guys can see right. It should say on the side, but oh yeah, right here, guys. You can see this is the 300 gallon Rubbermaid, and that's the leaders. If you guys. Okay guys, sorry if the lighting's bad, but this is, in the last clip you saw that we got the 300 gallon stock tank for Crush, and now we have got the filter. So, we have this old pool filter that does around a thousand gallons an hour, give or take. So, we're going to try to use this for the pond, because the pump we're going to order and make does around a thousand gallons per hour. So we're gonna test it out and see if it's too powerful. If it is, we can always rig it to a way, like put something over it so it's not too powerful. But here's the hose we're gonna be using. And yeah, we're gonna, we're filling up the pond so we can test it out to see if this will be too powerful. So you can see, we got the hose going in there, filling it up. And we're gonna see if this will be too powerful. And yeah, so we're gonna work on the pond today for a good bit of time. We're gonna try to get the filter going. And if the filter does work, we're gonna try to get the whole pond set up today, guys. But if not, yeah, so this is the filter, and I'll see you guys when this is filled up, and we're testing out the filter. Okay, guys, so we just got back from Lowe's, and we got a few things. We got this palm tree that we're going to put in the corner for some shade. By the way, we did get the filter working. We filled it up. We got the filter working, so we had to get some things. As you can see, we filled it up, but we had to get some things to make the filter work. We needed more um, PVC pipe, so we got some PVC pipe. We got that palm tree, and then in the truck, we also got some sand, and then we got pots for the palm tree got some soil more soil and then we also got these really cool elephant ear seeds that i'll show you in a second but yeah that's what we got from los three hours later filter flowing here's what we got so over here it's nice dead quiet so crush wants to come up get some air over here but we got some nice filtration over there you can see it's definitely not too much like it's barely pushing this dirt away it's 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 a perfect amount then we got this little bar down here and we drilled a bunch of holes along the water along the pvc pipe so it sucks up and then we also drilled some holes along there. Sucks up, comes down here into the filter. Now we're gonna put this bucket over the filter and we're gonna cut out some holes for that. We got our media in there, we got some lava rocks and some polyester film. Here we got our spray bar. So it comes up here through a 90 degree PVC pipe and then it comes through a straight pipe and then we found this for our pool attachment. It's like a little jet sprayer. And I think that looks really nice, giving some good aeration over here. And over there, so Crush can come up and get air, it's not too powerful and won't push her around. And then we just took this piece of wood and there's these pre-drilled holes here. And we just took a screw, put it through there, put a knot on the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. And then we put these brackets to hold the pipe in place. Now we have some washed sand over here. We're just gonna dump this in and then we got another bag in the truck. And then you can see the palm trees right there that I was talking about and those two elephant ear seed things. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys on day three of the pond build. Okay guys, so we just dumped the sand in. This is day two of working on the pond. The first ep the first day we got the pond. This is what it looks like after we just dumped the sand in. On day two, we got the filter running and everything like that. So I'll see you guys in the morning of day three and we will be checking on it to see how it looks and see if the sand is cleared up and then we'll probably be going in, spreading it out, adding rocks, stuff like that. And I'll see you. Okay guys, I'm in my hallway right now just because of the fact that outside we have a loud leaf blower going, but I'm gonna show you the pond in the second and the pond is done except for some minor details so yeah let's roll a montage
thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy that little montage. Let me know if you did like those edits. Uh, I really tried hard on that. Thank you guys for watching one of my videos. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like button, smash the subscribe. And sorry there was not much filming in this video. I was just really trying to focus on getting the pond done and making sure it's done the way I like it. Yes, there's going to be still future pond videos. Wait, once it warms up, we'll be adding more plants there, snails, and obviously crush. Uh, it crushes right there. You guys can see right there. But yeah. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you drop me a like, drop me a comment. Uh, if you made it to this far in the video, comment the word turtle. Uh, and let me know what your favorite turtle is in the dis in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching other videos. Make sure you guys do your research. And I'm on I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Do your research.